If you've ever been intimidated about cooking homemade chili like I used to be, I'm going to share a quick recipe with you. This can be done even on a weeknight. Uh, doesn't take real long and ingredients are inexpensive and easy to find at any grocery store. So I'm going to share two recipes with you today. Again, just some quick weeknight dinners or you can uh, cook these up ahead of time, pop them in the freezer and warm them up as you need them. So let's get started. All right, it's a quick chili from scratch recipe. I've got about a pound and a half of ground beef and a pound of ground pork. To that, I'm going to add you know, a lot of my standard spices you guys have seen in lots of my videos. We've got salt. Pepper. I like it a little bit on the spicy side, but not like out of control. The garlic. I put a little Camino in my chili, ground Camino, ground cumin. And then I like lots of chili powder in it. This is just, you know, whatever, whatever your go-to is for chili powder and I like a lot Oops. Right. I had to get that loosened so that's probably not quite a half a jar I'll start with that once it's had some time to cook I'll taste it I um, will likely add a little bit more and then I'm just going to use uh, fresh chopped tomatoes here. I've given up using canned tomato products because there's so much sodium and preservatives in them. So I'm going to add some tomatoes. So I've got some tomatoes in here. I'll let it cook long enough so that it's safe for me to taste it. And then I'll know if I need to add some more spices. So as always, I can't really tell you how much of anything I, I put in because I don't cook with recipes. And there's the start to my chili. I like to let it go five or six hours at least, uh, just on a low simmer all day until it's good. That breaks down the meat. Um, obviously, since I'm using fresh tomatoes, that'll help break down those tomatoes. And... Uh, I'll be back when I have tasted it to see if my spices are where I want them to be. Okay, I tasted it. I did add a little bit more salt and a little bit more chili powder. So now it's just going to simmer. I'll probably turn that heat down a little bit more because I keep it covered. That tends, tends to make the pan get hotter and stay hotter. And... Uh, We'll have some choices. We'll either have chili or chicken parmesan for dinner tonight. All right, so I have an easy chicken parmesan recipe I'll share with you. I've just um, scored some chicken breasts on the thick end just so everything will cook a little more evenly. You know, the chicken breasts are usually a little thinner down on one end. So <clears throat> I've dried them off with a paper towel, sprayed some... Um, cooking spray I use canola oil and it doesn't have to be a name brand sprayed the bottom of the pan with a little cooking oil I'm gonna put a little salt a little pepper I like a lot of garlic. Uh, we'll put just a little bit of oregano on there, more kind of like for an aromatic concept. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I have oregano growing out in the duck yard. 
and a little splash of basil. Not a lot because this has a pretty strong impact. I've got a little tiny bit of dill left over from the last time I made salmon. I usually keep a jar of dill around, but I didn't have a jar of dill. I went to Sprouts and just got what I thought would be enough for my salmon, but there's a tiny bit left over, so I'm going to sprinkle that on there as well. I couldn't um, film doing the doing the, uh, the dill because I had to cut the little bag to get those last little pieces out. And my goal is always just to infuse as much flavor into the chicken breasts as possible. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to add it super quick. Some panko breadcrumbs over the top. I've got my oven preheated to 375. We'll add some panko breadcrumb breadcrumbs. Those will get nice and toasty. Do a nice thick layer. Once these cook, I usually will collect the uh, breadcrumbs that are around and in between them and serve, serve them with that. So these will bake in the oven for probably about 40 minutes at 375. Uh, and I've got fresh tomatoes that I'm going to just make uh, the sauce with. I'll add cheese once this part has cooked because I don't want the cheese to get crispy. And there you have the start of some chicken parmesan. So I have a batch of dog food starting. I just put some chicken parmesan in the oven and just wanted to share again that when I'm preparing to cook dog food I do watch for bargains because it can get very expensive um, because I, I like to buy you know quality meats and maybe meats they don't get every day so this batch has bison pork and beef in it uh, it'll have oats I found these oats in the clearance section at Kroger. Nothing wrong with them for what I wanna do. I mean, I would eat them as well. I don't think they could sell them if you couldn't eat them. And they just need to be used by the, you know, expiration date, so um, just a little bit of savings there, regularly $2.69. Uh, there'll be duck eggs in the batch again. That's just a great economical way for me to provide a great protein source. Uh, an animal protein source. It's important that their protein comes from animals. And then I do have a package of beef liver in the freezer that I'll chop up to put in this batch as well. Uh, and this mix will have kale and butternut squash. I didn't get lucky enough to find um, any veggies in the clearance section this time. A lot of times when I go to the produce section, they'll have some packages of zucchini or butternut squash. Um, broccoli, you know, something that I like to use in the mixes, they'll have those marked down as well. And again, then I just come right home and if it's meat that I'm not going to use right away, it goes into the freezer. Uh, and then the veggies, I just want to use them within a couple of days of making a purchase. But uh, a lot of things happening today as far as cooking. I'm going to make a batch of chili also, but I don't have chili powder, so I'll have to make a trip out here in just a bit to get some chili powder and it'll just be a cooking day all day today. Cooper's waiting. No honey, you can't have that. Y'all, he is so obsessed with eating paper. No honey, let me have it. Thank you, thank you, no paper. All right, this might be one of the biggest batches of dog food I've ever made. I started out with just my medium and large crock pots and by the time I added my meat they were a little too full so I got out my other crock pot. There are 50 duck eggs in this batch and a whole pound of beef liver. I usually just use one pound of beef liver but since I have the extra so to speak I just went ahead and divvied up that beef liver into the three containers so um, I don't think I put turmeric in my last batch and 
Bandit is starting to have some little aches and pains associated with just getting older. So, uh, so there's turmeric in this batch. I'm hoping that'll give him some relief. Um, and, I mean, it looks like it's going to be a nice batch of food. So it's bison, um, pork, beef, duck eggs, butternut squash, kale, oats, and the ground turmeric. Uh, it smells good. And, of course, the dogs are already excited. When they see the crock pots come out, they know what that means. So we'll have a nice uh, batch of home-cooked food starting tonight. All right. Timer went off. What's out of here? Oh, it smells so good in here. I'm going to top it. I'm going to go ahead and put the cheese on it now so the cheese will melt. And then I'll make my sauce. And that's an easy chicken parmesan right there. All right, so I've chopped up not quite one whole tomato. I've added some salt, some pepper, some garlic, some parsley. And we're just going to let this simmer until it breaks down and makes a nice sauce. Alright, dog food is in containers. I just have to let it cool a little bit before I put it in the freezer. That's a pretty good batch right there. And the pre-wash is happening right now. Keeper and Serena are doing the dishes. So there's one container in the refrigerator in the kitchen and then I mean this should be enough to last three weeks or so obviously I could have gotten a few more containers in here that might be my goal next time I might have to order another big crock pot because that's my best friend when it's dog food cooking day you ready to go night night are you ready to go night night Night, night, night.